I don't have all the solutions, but at the moment, there are no solutions at all. I've been arguing for a few years now that matters of stalking, cases of reports of stalking and harassment should not be a matter for the police at all. I want there to be separate, independent organizations with specialized forensic psychologists and psychologists psychiatrists and IT specialists, I was thinking of specialists, and specialized researchers, investigators, and also former targets, people who know what it is like to be on the receiving end of this. Perhaps also former stalkers who can give tips, who can make assessments as to what exactly is going on. What is needed is an instant triage of the risk. There is absolutely nothing like that at the moment. Police officers often see themselves, or at least portray themselves, as the experts in absolutely everything. Which is, of course, nonsense. It's nonsense. They are not mental health experts. They have absolutely no way of assessing whether an IP address really is an IP address. Huh? I got a strange message on my screen here. Um, yeah, I look stormy. I've just been out in a storm with a cap on, so my hair looks squashed. My hair looks squashed. You'll have to put up with that. Particularly these he said, she said spats can be dismissed qu quickly. But more serious cases, um, the police is currently failing every stalking victim by default. That's their own investigation that brought that to light, at least here in England. It's not that different in the, in the US and other countries. So something in this area needs to change. Police officers have no idea of IT matters. I'm not going to mention any names, but there has been a case in which a woman's life would have been saved if the police would have had the IT knowledge at hand, the expertise at hand, that would have seen that messages coming to this girl, this woman, she was a young woman, she wasn't a girl, were coming from her stalker, a guy she had made complaints about. That expertise is almost never at hand. That expertise, none of the expertise that is needed to assess cases of stalking and harassment is ever at hand at the police. And there's something else really, really, really strange that I've noticed. When you file a police report, you do not need to identify yourself. That dawned on me when I went to the police at some point and was told that I'd already made that report a few days before. Apparently somebody similarly dressed and with similarly dyed, dyed hair had stepped to the police a few days before I did and made a report and apparently called herself my name. That is absolutely not checked. Police officers do not check the identity of the person who files the report. That's rather crazy, isn't it? It's astonishing. 